Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ryan Nickel coming at you again with Randy Just on a what is today? Walk, Walk through Wednesday, right. right? There we go. So, I, what do we call this one again? Uh, minimalist, maximist, and somewhere in between, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So, let's. I'll, I'll, we'll do the rundown in this house. Actually, do you want to put in the photo while we talk about it, Ryan? I want to have your little microphone thingy too. I took it off, man. It was like oh, hundred dollars okay. that I don't even use anymore. Okay, well, anyway, why don't we spin, spin it around? Let's see, let these guys kind of see what's going on here. What do you think? You know what? I don't think I can actually do that because it is a... Oh, yes. There we go. There we are. Okay, anyway, what we're going to do here is we have a home. We just closed on... You know, I can't... Yesterday? Actually, so, yeah, around. we... Um, closed when did we close on this one? Yesterday? I think we did, yeah. Closed on this one yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. That's right. There we go. We're, we're getting... Well, at least I'm getting old. The guys give me a bad time <laughs> today saying, hey, he's getting old anyway, so... But we have a, uh, a home that's... Not in horrible shape. Yeah, let's get a bit broader view here. And we're just trying to figure out how we can add. Whoops! Careful there. Uh, how we can add some value to it. Yeah, it's a nice home, and it's a very look at this neighborhood here. Yeah, it's very, very quiet very cute, neighborhood. You know, trees and vegetation here, and so forth. Uh, not too far from the high school. Yeah, uh, very so, cool house. But um, not a heavily, not heavy traffic and so forth. But it's a three bedroom, one bath, just a little over a thousand square feet. Great starter home, great home for somebody that uh, maybe is a little, you know, in their older years or, or a single person. It's going to hit a lot of demographics. Uh, the goal here is to try to get this thing sold for under $200,000. we are targeting a price point of probably like $199,000. Close to the helicopter airport. Look at that, guys. Just in case. Just in case you need to be fly, flown out, life flighted. There you go. You're not too far. But anyway, we quite literally have done nothing to this house. Yeah, and except for this guy we found on the side of the road. We said, hey, can you come over here and weed yeah, for us? Yeah, he was like holding a cardboard sign up on the side there. And we said, said, I will weed for food. I will weed for no, food. No, no, I will weed for weed. I will weed. <laughs> no, come on now. We don't want to say that about this gentleman here. He's actually one of our, our guys, our helper guys. No, he's so. actually one of our good, but yeah. Check this out. Very good laborer. Check out here we deal with sometimes. You know, uh, some homes we have maximum levels of trash. This one is like, there's trash, but not tons of trash. Right. And we don't know what happened. Maybe they just didn't have enough room left on the pickup truck anymore. Maybe they plan on coming back here later and taking it, or they just plain forgot about it. Yeah, so, so if you guys know anyone that's looking for a crib, we got a couple of them here for sale. Yeah, you can reach out to <laughs> us. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but anyway. So, Dirty mattress included. But uh, we just have some odds and ends to fix on this one. There's some... Uh, yeah, let's go take a look right at the inside. Right now we're playing on retaining it. Oh, check this out. Now, that's some really important stuff here, Ryan. Oh, man, it's a horseshoe. That means good which, luck. Which way, is, which way is the good luck side? I think Ryan? it's up. Is it up? Yeah, because your, your luck is looking up. Well, I'm going to hold this as we walk around it. There we go, just, man. Just make sure we have good luck on this one. We will be making money on this one. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be doing a full-on rehab on this one. That's what we're discussing. And that's what we're talking about, the somewhere in between. Oh, and there is some dry rot and so forth we're going to be taking. Here, we can take a look at some of this. Like the woods actually dry right all all together is now gone. Oh yeah, look at that man. Woo, look yeah, that. so like brittle. So we'll be painting it a nice color and going through it, fixing up the dry rot. The other thing too that we do on flips, um, all this low voltage wire, when we strip that off and let people start fresh, they start new as far as I think their, we had a uh, question about for the end of the panel. It is know, old Zinsco. Yeah, it looks like we might be dun dun dun. We might be uh, budgeting a little bit for panels swap out there Mr. Ryan. That's right. Um, cutting down some vegetation. Got some window screens are kind of beat up. Yep. Just a lot of little things. Paint, paint on this looking. one. Yeah. Nope. We're going to take the satellite dish off up there. So the one thing that was really attractive to us was that they had put in a newer unit. I mean, this this is obviously like a yeah. seven ton for a, no, a thousand square foot <clears> thousand house. square foot home. So like you turn the thing on, like the house is like ice crystals are hanging off the ceiling here. Uh, yeah, it's like you can probably store your meat over here. <laughs> that's right, you meat you go locker. Down and get one of, yeah, meat locker. That's go down right. And get one of those cut up towels. A rocket whatever. come over, start boxing it. Yeah. So uh, it actually has a nice uh, patio out here. We're probably gonna clean up some of this as far as uh, dry rot, and getting it painted up, and so forth. Yeah, this so. is nice. But as far as the backyard goes, it has a really nice feel to it. Yeah, nice shady. On a, on a hot day like this, it's very nice. Yeah, and then you see a little patio area over there. You have some furniture next to the Japanese maples. And yeah, I know. So it's just a cool little setup. A so. newer, newer roof, so that's so there's not a whole lot of maintenance that needs to go on this thing. Uh, uh, you know, I was joking I with know, Randy. Time. Look at this thing. It's like... It looks like it's a pagoda. Yeah, it's a pagoda. Like, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> It's hard to say here, but um, yeah. anyway, so that's the backyard. We can go back around the front and look at the inside, but 
This is a nice little backyard, you know, not huge, not small. No, Great you know. For family gathering. Yeah, plenty of nice little dogs to keep you company. Yeah, they're getting a little excited, those little tack dogs there, those little watch dogs. <clears throat> little yappies. They're just not used to being here. Oh, hey, Randy. What? Well, you know what? Here's the old fence right here. Oh, well, there we go. We'll just slap it back up there. I don't know if we'll be able to reuse that or not. <laughs> We're going to find out. Randy. Is that, is that their letter or ours? Yeah, that was left here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got ourselves a cool and this is This is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Yeah. Got some old wood. Make a bed frame out of. Got a ladder. Climb on the roof. Suntan on. You know, people yeah, used to do that, already, right? What's that? Getting their suntan on? Yeah, they used to suntan on the roof. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's already, since he just been out here, he's already cleaned up half the... That's the planter box. Give this man a bonus. I know. He's already cleaned Oh, sweet. So one of the things that's going to happen here is we're going to be taking off all these window coverings. I'm just showing how that's really done. Dark. How's it done? Well, I'm not going <laughs> to. This one actually, everything's in pretty decent shape. We want to keep it that way. There we go. Hey, parcel up. Anyway. Oh, that's how it's done right there. Good job. Yeah, we're going to take those off. There's going to be a lot more natural light in here. We're looking at putting some vinyl flooring in here. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this. Uh... And uh, replacing the baseboards, get it painted up. And uh, what else do we have here? So this is kind of. You want to talk to her about about you know the difference between two tone? Yeah, we um, we're having like a, a powwow with our painter, and we're figuring this out. Should we paint everything one color, meaning the ceiling and the walls, because we would uh, save time by doing that. Yeah. And be cost effective. The flip side is. What's that going to look like as far as the end product is concerned? Is it going to feel claustrophobic because you don't have the differentiation between the ceiling and the wall line? So mm -hmm. you kind of go back and forth. And I think this one, we're probably going to make them two different paint colors. That's probably where it's going to end up. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. And then we're looking out here. Well, this house has, does have a feature, which you don't find in newer homes. We see a fireplace there. Oh, yeah. there oh sorry, Randy. You got to I know. Here. I know. Oh, fireplace, that's right. 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 Not you, Ryan. <laughs> the fireplace. Oh, gotcha. there we go. Yeah. So we have that. Um, we have to make a decision about taking this mirror off. I suspect we're going to be taking that off. Yeah. And then probably the biggest decision we have for this wall is this wall, this paneling right here. Uh, as the painter informed us, we might have to put primer on here that's oil-based, so there's extra cost there. And I don't know, ultimately, we paint this. How's it gonna benefit the look? So I have a suspicion we're probably gonna be pulling this off. I think so too. That's probably where that's gonna end up. Yeah. Because so. you have two different wood cones as well with the mantle and that. So Yeah. So uh oh, gonna... uh oh, uh oh. What, 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 what? Which way does it need oh, to go? Oh, there we go. Is that the right way? You sure about that, Ryan? Well, you know what? I was in Memphis last week and they had a horseshoe over the door and it was pointing up. So. Okay, well, we'll, we'll assume that. Then. I will. Uh, so here we have the know, living room. Memphis is close to Kentucky. You know what happens in Kentucky, right? I don't know what happens. Kentucky Derby. Wow, okay. I didn't know we are going the same room. And here's the dining room here. Yeah, dining room. It's nice. Not bad size. No, it's very nice. This has a little uh, uh, patio door here that goes outside to, to the patio area, which is nice. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there it's we go. It's real crystal clear. Um, we're not sure what this is all about. That's a nice window and a nice cooler box. I don't know if they uh, kind of like... Through food through there or what? <laughs> the dog? Through, yeah, I yeah. don't know. The so. dog, that they, they didn't let it inside because it like, would eat everybody. We'll be pulling the vinyl out of here and putting in some uh, vinyl flooring in here. And that's where the refrigerator goes. Um, cabinets, um, it is what it is. We're going to clean the sink up, clean up these countertops, so they'll get repainted in here. They're very, they look like they're very serviceable cabinets. We'll just keep them in place and work with those. Um, the people, looks like they apparently they took the, the range, so we have to replace the range. And, our big decision here is that we're going to put a microwave oven in here, and I would say let's take a look here. You have a vent, vent out. We have a vent yeah, out. Vent it out. So, you know, a microwave range hood. They're usually around two hundred bucks. I think it's a great, great addition. Yeah, two hundred, two twenty. So we're going to be taking yeah. this out, and we should be able to just drop it right in there and be about this height here. So I think it'll work that's out just fine. Yep, and you're still below this light switch here, so uh, that's going to be close. We might have to cut this a little bit. Right there, it's roughly about eight, they're usually about 18 inches tall. Oh, uh, there we go. Microwave, I think it'll fit in there, so we'll be good. And cool. people appreciate that. No uh, dishwasher. Dun, dun, dun. Which I think is okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, I think we'll be okay without that. I think so too. Yeah. Uh, and then also, um, looks like they had some sort of cover here. One thing they did that I'm still uh, not, not the most in love with, 
They took the garage and they put this kind of false wall in here. Yeah, I know. It kind of, it kind of likes, you know, do people want more space in here? It this is, like, to me, this is a lot of wasted space. Well, it's kind of like, did they have their children in here and they played in here? You know, or, I, don't, I, don't I, know. I don't know. You know, what was the... But it's crazy because you have the washer and dryer right yeah, here. Yeah, and, and you have the... The dryer. I mean, the washer's there. here, but the dryer's all the way over there. Right. So it's like, you can't move that wall any forward. I mean, I guess you possibly could, but you have to get the dryer vent and... Well, I can move, but I mean, there's a few strategies here. The washer, the washer could be moved over here. That's huh? true, and you could bend out the uh, the and dryer the right dryer here. Over there and put the dryer over there. Because so they did move the uh, the water heater. Yeah, they moved the water heater outside. See where this is coming up here. Yep. So we'd actually have our hot and cold right here. Uh, we have to work on the drain part of it. But... Yeah, but we're talking about trying to get into this one as quick as possible and out as well. Yeah, so... and I. This is we're kind of working with two two lines of homes that we rehab in our business. And we have our top line tier, which is just full on rehabs, made beautiful, getting very, very top dollar. And then we have more of our budget homes, at least in this area, we're trying to target under $200,000 for our budget homes. And so this one's gonna fall in our budget home. And so we're not gonna go through and just tear everything about, we're gonna make it very livable. Somebody's gonna get some value uh, when they move in here. They may start making changes to make it their own, but we're not, we're not gonna be spending, uh, going through the whole kitchen and going through you know, tile backsplashes and all these things. So, yeah, no, no, not at all. Yeah. Just so. here real quick, take a sneak peek at the garage. Yeah, we got some, some, in some garbage right in here. here. Uh, one thing that this garage is not meant for a car, but it has a lot of storage in here. Well, somebody could put a motorcycle You in could. There. You know what? Motorcycle is totally cool. A little tinker's bench. And then yeah, you know, in some California, up in there. California is kind of weird. A lot of people don't use the garage as a garage for their vehicle. It's usually storage. You so. know what? Yeah, because when I was out in Tennessee, Randy, um, a lot of these houses did not have garages. And I asked yeah, they had carports. Yeah, well, not even that. They just had I know. just whatever. And I, I know. I, and I asked the guy, I'm like, you don't have garages out here? He's like, what do we need a garage for? And I'm like, well, you get a lot of rain. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, but, um, so that's kind of what's happening here. I don't know if we're going to do something crazy with this up here. We might change that out a little bit. Maybe do something there uh, after painting it. But we're, we're just, uh, you know, it's uh, going to be, uh, I guess, the simple, you know, not exactly minimalist. We're kind of like in the middle there. Yeah. And we're going to be targeting one ninety nine nine on it. I think that's going to happen. Um, hoping to sell pretty quickly. We're coming into the summer months. Great time to sell. Oh, perfect and I, think, time. I think we're going to do well with it. Yep. So. Let's go look at the bedrooms real quick and then oh, we'll call yeah, this one. Yeah, I forgot about that. Call, call this one day. Good. I knew there were some rooms we didn't look at yet, right? That's right. Three bedrooms, which is good. Yeah, it's a, definitely a plus. Yeah. It's kind of dark in here. we got some, some light, light going up. Look at that. Not huge That's bedrooms. Like grandma light. Serviceable bedrooms, but not huge. But you know what? It's a nice big closet yeah, for a closet's a decent size. Yeah, it's right. Got some weird colors in here. This is some old marmoleon, man. This is 1950s. This is original. Yeah, and you'll see there are funky colors there. That yeah. happens sometimes when you come in. That's part, part of the reason for painting this. Yeah, definitely. And this purple in here makes it dark and makes it look smaller, too. Totally. And then we got another purple room here. Ooh. No, like they no, left no. us the closet doors, so we just need to... Do not fix it up. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what's, what's going on with this closet here. Yeah. I don't know if this is holding it together or... <clears throat> we got to figure it out. Yep. Our crew will be able to handle that. Uh, oh, there's actually glitter on the walls. This is a glitter paint. Uh, maybe we should keep it, Ryan. You know what? Yeah, no. Look at that. They can see that glitter. Look at that. It's like Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Warp speed. <coughs> <clears throat> uh, and the bathroom is probably the big one of the biggest question marks. Yeah, this is a rough one. I don't know. Is this an actual wallpaper? I think right it, here? this is sponge paint. You sure about that? Um, not a hundred percent, no. But I think it's paint with sponge. It looks like it is with a texture on it. Like you can see, like yeah, the. I, I. Audience, what do you think? Wallpaper or sponge? I don't know. I think it's sponge. You got some splotchy here. You can feel it. Okay. You All right. Yeah, so we're gonna just get this cleaned up. Got a little deal See, it's side. peeling off right here. Yeah, we're gonna be some new. Yeah, new backs. Yeah, we'll be taking care of that. Now, the other thing, so, guys, what do we do with the tile? See, that's the question I was gonna ask you earlier. Is like, this tile is just like, oh my gosh, really? Like, you want to have something that matches the floor that matches this tile. But if you come in here with something like funky color, then you're gonna just. Well, if we pull this out, we're gonna have to uh, do some new drywall. Yes. And uh, material-wise, not I think expensive. I, I think actually that's probably the probably the better idea. To do it, just tear it out. Just tear it out. I think so, right? I think so. That's why I'm leaning. Because I 
try to get this this to match and complement what you know right. try to have our new paint right. composition and flooring comp you know complement this is going to be very yeah different. i think we're going to be turning that tile off yeah. We have to move this we'll probably have a new vanity. New vanity. There. I think this bathroom's yeah. probably going to be. Um, are we going to yeah. salvage this tub, tub Randy? Uh, the tub we're going to keep. I think we'll we can fix this tub. In this case, I mean, I just say we just throw in a brand new surround, too. Well, the tub I think we can reuse, Ryan. Well, I think we can, but just put in a new surround. New surround, yeah. I think we'll we'll yeah. the tub, okay. tub is fine. Out fine. And then we have the last uh, bedroom over here, which I think is a little. And there's a lot of wasted space in this one, too, right here. It's like there was like a shelving or something right there, but I there's not. We'll get, yeah. I don't know. We'll get it done. Get it out there. <clears throat> you know what I think would be a great idea, Randy? What's that, Randy? Is what we should do is we should jackhammer the slab and we should have the toilet right here, but at an angle, like diagonal. So you can like actually sit at an angle and I think that would be a total like, perfect use you of know, space. You know, Ryan, sometimes your ideas are very creative. We love you for it, Ryan, but... <laughs> Sometimes I'm just plain stupid too. So that one's a stupid one. I'm sorry to shut you down on oh, that man, one. This but, is on you social know, media, man. This I is like, know. My it's mom like, watches this. I'm not calling you stupid. My mom's like, like, I'm not stupid. stupid. I'm not. You're not <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Ryan, your son is not <laughs> stupid, okay? He's, every now and then he gets a little wacky. Um, I don't know. But I, is this better a little bigger than the other I think ones? it is. I think this is considered the, bigger, the yeah. master. Oh, look at this. No fuses. No excuses. Oh, they like bolted it shut. Oh, they might no longer. So be just in, just in case. Yeah, it's no longer functional. So. Yeah. And this is the that's, that, the that's the window that's blocked by the window blocked by the Ooh, Look at that. Yeah, so we'll get this one cleaned up. So anyway, folks. Let's not do the right area here. Yeah, this is a. Hmm. I think it's gonna look I think we're gonna do okay with it. I do too. So what do we what do we find in here when we put our hand down there? Nothing, nothing was there. I'm still waiting for the day yes. when I find that house that- I'm Has serious. the gold, yeah. has the gold. He's always looking for the gold. Man, there was a house, I read about this, man. They're like, they're back east, like in New Jersey or something like that. And they're they're taking the walls down and inside, they find a bunch of bills, like $32,000 from the Great Depression. And I'm just like, man. And what do they do? They track down the owner who owned it during that time and gave it to his heirs. But how, how? How much do you think that those thirty-two thousand dollars bills were worth, Ryan? Thirty-two thousand. Oh, shares. I thought there was like inflation. They became more bills or something, right? You know, no. I, well, they're old, old bills. They're no longer tendered. They're collector's but, item bills. Oh, you mean you can't you can't go to the bank and exchange them? I don't think they could because they're they're based on the silver certificates. Oh, yeah. I don't know. So I mean, it was. They said it was like. I don't the, know. Yeah. I think it's still spent. I don't know. They probably could have. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's the federal <clears> government. I don't know. So. But that's. I'll, I'll go back and reread that article. Well, you know, folks, we're going to most likely come back and visit this one when we're done. Oh, yeah. Right, Ryan? That's right. We're going to visit it, and we'll give you the update. Um, you know, the more I'm walking through it, the more confident I am about what's going to happen with them. Getting, getting optimistic. You know, every project, you have, like, this fear that it's not going to sell what you're hoping for and stuff. But I have a pretty good track record as far as pricing, and I don't think I've ever had one that... Uh, came under what I was hoping for. You know what, so, you know what's what Randy? What, you know what? 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 <clears throat> My money is on this horse. Oh, which horse is that, Ryan? This house here. I, I'm, I'm, bet, I'm riding this horse one all the way to the finish line. Okay, well, we're good. But we're going to make, we're not going to get rich on this one, guys. We're going to make a couple bucks. Uh, it'll be fun. We'll go through it. We're actually going to go on this. We uh, talked to the painters and so forth. We're thinking that we're going to try about a week or so on this one. It's probably going to be a week with a couple days is my guess. Probably seven to nine days we'll have this one cleaned up and ready for market. So, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, so that's going to be good. But hey, once again, folks, um, I'm going to let Ryan do his little special thing. I'm actually going to take the phone. Well, you can do yours up. first. I can do mine first? No, of course you can, Randy. Okay, thank you, Ryan. That's so nice of you. Anyway, hey, if you folks are out there and you have some questions or need maybe some consulting help or so forth, as far as you doing flips and so forth, give me a call. 530-812-5143. That's 530-812-5143. Uh, we're going to finish up our walkthrough Wednesday. Ryan's going to give me, give you his special message. I always like hearing it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to spin it around. Right, Mr. Ryan? Well, I know I gave it to you. And so you could actually just have turned it that way. But either way, it works oh, Okay, just there, like, Ryan. Well, let's hear all about the Is this my good special. side? Or, or mm, this nah, I think side? this side's better. Let's move you into the light a little bit. Just to... Just so we can bask in your in your glow. Uh, My future is so bright that I gotta put glasses on. Well, now you're really dark. It's kind of weird. <laughs> because anyway. you have the backlight behind me, that's why. Okay, there we go. So oh, if I do right. this, I'll be perfect. 
Okay. So you're being anyway, perfect. you already are perfect. I am perfect. If we ask your wife, she'll tell you you're perfect just the way you are, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Maybe she wants me home on a little bit more on time for dinner. Okay. <laughs> That's what she's telling you. Ryan. All right, guys. So I just want to let you know you're just one deal away from changing your entire financial future. All it takes is that one deal. If you're just getting started in real estate and you want to be able to find deals just like this, hit me up. I'm on Facebook. You can find me there or you can just give me a call or text message me at 530-755-7552. Again, one more time. That's 530-755-7552. Love to help you get started in real estate and making some great money in this business. And we'll see you next week on our Walkthrough Wednesday. Very good. Peace. <laughs> Bye.